Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. My name is Philip Sporer. I'm one of the Pillow Scholars. I want to welcome you to this Pillow Talk. Today, dances for an iPhone. If you like modern or contemporary dance on the stage, you might like to try a more portable version, one that can fit into the palm of your hand. Dances for an iPhone is a new and innovative initiative by dancer and choreographer Richard Daniels. This new application, or app, has been available free of charge through iPhones since the beginning of the year. The first volume for this app has met with resounding success. Here to discuss this project for the small screen is an esteemed and an accomplished panel. Richard Daniels, the uh, brain and muscle behind the project. He developed, directed, and choreographed each of the dances. Two of the performers on the project are also with us. Deborah Jowett, uh, the acclaimed dancer, choreographer, dance writer, and critic. And just this week, Deborah inaugurated a dance blog at artsjournal.com called Dance Beat. So congratulations, Deborah. Thank you. Carmen de Lavalad, the celebrated and much loved dancer, choreographer, and actor, is no stranger to the pillow uh, or its audiences. And Mr. Lavalad has been inspiring uh, audiences and generations of dance lovers. So it's a great pleasure to meet Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I guess the very first question goes to you, Richard. And this is your idea, why you wanted to start this initiative. Uh, in all of my dance projects, I pulled in other really accomplished performers to work with me. And so I thought, well, we'll just stay with that. And so I started a dream of the, of the performers that I would work with, that I had always shot all the dances I'd made. And then I had the iPhone, and I thought, well, what would it be like if I moved that to the phone? And I looked at it on the small screen of the phone, and loved the way that it looked. I called a friend at the Baryshnikov Art Center and told them I, I had this idea to make these short little dance movies and could I work there? And they said, yes, I'll set up a meeting for you. So I, I went to the meeting and I said, you know, I, I have an idea to make these short little dance movies. I don't know how I want to deliver them, uh, but I have this idea and these are the people I want to work with. And they said, yes. And so I haven't finished my idea yet. And they said, no, yes. <laughs> and that's how it all began. When Richard came to you, Deborah, with this plan, this idea, perhaps it was a vague idea, let's do a dance, what did you think? I thought, well, I don't get asked to do that very often anymore, <laughs> so why not? Deborah has an incredibly rare gift of being able to speak and move. The idea of talking and moving two letters exchanged between Gertrude Stein and her partner Alice B. Toklas was seemed very fascinating to me. And then I found that the letters were very different from what I might have expected. They did not write letters that said things like a rose is a rose is a rose, <laughs> but more like Sweetums, I wish I could kiss you goodnight, uh, and, or a little more stylish than that. But, um, I was delighted to be asked. I was enthralled with the idea of the project. And so it was a delightful process. Difficult, demanding, requiring memory and a lot of meetings. And it just, that was a pleasure. We're going to get into that, that whole area of the production. But I would like to know, Carmen, from you, your perspective, somebody comes to you and says, I'm going to do a dance for, for, for my, my iPhone. Yeah. What did you think? Well, I've done everything else. Why not an iPhone? <laughs> I, I thought it was intriguing, you know, and I'd always wanted to work with, he doesn't know this, but I love your choreography. And he picked the Stephen Sondheim. And I kind of have a connection with Stephen Sondheim. We keep meeting in strange ways, doing a, a, a play. So in a funny kind of way, we're, all, we're connected without being connected. It's very nice. It's not just dancing to some words. It really meant something. And that's what I like about Sondheim. I love his music and his songs and his lyrics. You know when you're in a room by yourself and you, and, you, and you dance or you do something and nobody's watching, just you. And it was all about that woman talking about her mother. And I was trying to, to um, I, was, I tell you, it was like a soliloquy. The movement and the, and the words and what it meant to me are all one. One of the things that I find so interesting is it's kind of a stripped 
stripped down uh, situation where you're working in a studio, uh, there aren't fancy lights, there aren't sets, uh, it's kind of direct, you feel almost like the process is very close to you. And of course, because you won't be seeing it on a big screen, you'll be seeing it in the palm of your hand, there's an intimacy, I think, that's immediately associated with what you're doing. I've been watching dance for a very long time, and there are incredible moments that happen in the studio when no one is watching, and I wanted that. And I wanted to give that experience to people. Mm -hmm. were, you the, were you the filmmaker as well? I'm the, 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 the director of photography? The chef, the cook, the bottle washer, the Excellent. whole thing. Excellent. The editor, too? The editor, too. What I like about these is that the movement is simple, but very focused. And here, this one little dance is gone around the world. And I'm just in awe of that. <laughs> it's really, and when a, a small child is saying, I like Carmen's dance. You know, and I thought, oh, that's good. You know, I mean, <laughs> gee, when somebody young does, you know, you feel like you're in, you see. But it, it, it has, you know, I've, I've come, come kind of yelling and screaming into the 21st century. <laughs> And I think this has changed my mind a lot because of the people that it reaches. There's someone at iTunes who left a, a user comment, I don't know who this person is, and they said, you know, I work in the dance field, I love this thing, and my five-year-old is crazy for it too. When you say somebody can hold you in the palm of their hand, it's really as if that person is dancing for you. How do you, how do you gauge your performance? Well, you really can't think about it. You just do it for Richard. You don't do it for the camera. It's personal. Mm -hmm. I think and a duet in a funny kind of way. So it's you and, and the person looking in the palm. I think you're absolutely right. And I think what, what you're all talking about, which I find most interesting, is how in a culture that we're worried about the intimacy of our lives disappearing, perhaps, and being overwhelmed by technology, that in fact all three of you are describing in such meaningful ways the kind of very personal, direct, private kind of experience that comes out of this. Uh, I think some of that has to do with uh, how I've conceived of what these dances would be. Um, Every facet of this has to do with something that I love. I started with little bits of music that I love. I try to imagine who was going to dance what. And so in some ways, they start to come through like portraits. I, I am a trained musician, and that, whether it's the spoken word, it's the music of the spoken word, um, and and uh, while I'm interested in the music, I feel that I make dances for the imagination. What that requires is artistry, uh, and and the mature performer brings that to the table. You, you l learn the juice. You get the juice finally. You know, you're too busy drinking the thing <laughs> without tasting it. You know, and and I'm very into like the old Japanese. Uh, Kabuki artists I always loved. I, it's the sensitivity and tiny little moves that mean more than a big leg in the mm -hmm. air. And things because they had all that experience behind it so that, so that the, the essence, you, you get the essence of what you were doing. And, and that takes years. And, and, and um, you know, you forget about the body and the dancing and all that, but you go for, the, for what it's really about. And the body will give it to you. Well, I think that's the gift of what this particular project is all about, because it's translating two feet away from us all of this, this, this very delicious and deeply felt uh, interpretation. I think that that's what comes through loud and clear. Well, it's a very rich and wonderful project. I thank all of you here today and all of you as well. Thank you so much.